Hey everyone, welcome to the Professor Trades channel. This was Thursday evening, right before the news of the attacks in Iran and Israel. An amazing trade. And I'm going to show you on this video how you can find entries just like that if you're connected with the right people. What a beautiful day today in Miami. We are actually recording from my backyard today. Can't beat the weather here. Beautiful blue skies, but we're going to give you massive, massive value today. So let's get into today's crude oil full analysis video. Okay, so we are going to get started on the weekly chart. And by the way, if you stay until the end of the video, I'm going to show you how you can join my trading community from this video only for $7. It's my birthday month, so I want to pass on some good savings to you as well. So hang tight for that information. Okay, so we are looking at the weekly. And so we are going to understand that right here, we have a current level where the weekly chart has gone to. Uh, you know, again, we can be off a few pennies here or there, but understand that we are at this area of support right now on the weekly chart based on where price closed last week, okay? If we take a look at the Fibonacci level for where price did retrace, again, we talk about this all the time uh, in our group, it came into that 70-ish uh, percent retracement level and price has continued to go down from there. We talked about it on our last video, would we hit 80 and we came pretty close uh, about 80, 97 or so. So we've got to pay attention to this level. We've got to pay attention to this level because this level is going to be crucial because if we close below this level, then on the weekly, we are going to see crude oil prices continue to dip down. But of course, we need to focus and trade on what we see versus what we think. And I think that's one of the most important things that we have to make sure that we are doing, including myself at times, sometimes we can get very swayed with the bias, with what we think is gonna happen, and we start trading that way, and that's usually a recipe for disaster. So let's trade what the charts tell us because price action is key, and it's gonna let us know in which direction, whether you're a scalper, crude oil has become much more difficult to swing trade. So if you're gonna swing trade, use caution, and protect your assets. So let's jump right back into the daily chart right now. And then I'm gonna give you some gap entries as we go from there. So this is the level we were talking about. Again, this level could be moved a little bit higher, a little bit lower. It is at a crucial level right in here, okay? Now, if we take a look at the price action from Friday, we can see we've got this long wick right here. Seems like a lot of sellers were introduced uh, into the market on Friday. So we have to really see what is going to happen at this key level. Uh, again, from a daily, if we get a closure below, then we could possibly see a retest and then possibly uh, coming back down all the way. But we're going to break down this analysis from every time frame. So whether you're a scalper or you're a swing trader, you can be prepared for the beginning of the week. And then of course, we always end this video with our gap trades and I'll explain that a little bit more as we move. So again, we are going to mark up this level right here, which is gonna be a kind of a level that we have to look at. We're gonna make that white. And so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna give you some key levels for you to mark up on your charts as well. I always take a look at the wicks. The wicks tell the story. We had a bounce here before, and we had a nice bounce in this area. So we're gonna be playing off of these levels for now. Again, understand that we are fitting on a daily time frame, and we're gonna be bringing these down into some smaller segments for you. So again, no surprise here, right? We are still kind of looking at this uptrend right in here, okay? So if we drop that there, kind of just bring that down, just as a visual, I'm not here, trying to do a trend line. I'm going to show you, right, we are kind of in this uptrend right in here. 
Okay. So just as a figure, I want you to be able to see, let's kind of put here where these last two wicks came, right? Is this trend line going to hold up? We had two touches right here, came very close here, and we had this initial touch right here. So we've got to see how we're going to play off of that trend line as well when we look at the big picture, okay? When we bring it down on the daily, let's take a look at this floor. This floor we cannot ignore because we've been down to this floor, which is 6750 or so several, several times. So again, that's going to be kind of the floor. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to create the roof of this establishment right in here, right? Which was 9550 or so. So now we have our large playing field. And really the key now is to begin to kind of break down this playing field into smaller segments to give you the opportunity to get into trades that are highly probable. And that's all we do inside of our trading group. Hey, so talking about our trading group, if you are interested and you want to get a trial of our group, you are going to be blown away with all the good stuff that we have. There is going to be a link down in the video description, or you can just go to the professortrades.com. If you are watching this video and you are not yet in the group, I'm going to give you seven days for $7. Yes, that's crazy. Seven days for $7. So basically a dollar a day for you to be able to try out the app, get the trade alerts, trade with us, uh, live analysis twice a day in the group. So that is going to come to you for $7 for seven days. And then if you like what you see, you can stay on on one of our monthly or yearly plans, which is still less than a dollar a day. So I hope you will take advantage of that as we get back into the analysis. Okay, so let's now begin to break this down as we move forward. Okay, so we are sitting here on this trend line. Let's jump over to our eight hour chart so we can begin to see and validate this area. Okay, so we can clearly see the rise here from this trend line, even on the eight hour. So you know what? This is a valid trend line right now. We are still on this upswing and we have not been able to have a candle close, okay, below this trend line area. So until we do that, we have to stay bullish for now on crude oil, okay? We have to stay bullish on crude oil until this trend line is broken and closed below, okay? So that being said, let's take a look at the major zones that we are at, okay? The major zones that we are at. We just talked about this key level here. Now, if we drop down to the four hour, there's our view from our four hour. And I think it's important to know, uh, again, that zones are not an actual line, it's an actual area. So we are in this area right in here. We're gonna make this area yellow to stay consistent. So this is gonna be very important as the market opens. And we'll talk about the gap in just a minute. If we are going to uh, break and close below this trend line, if so, we're headed down at 8028, okay? Or if we are going to reject this area here and we are going to head back up to where we came from, okay? That is going to be the interesting point right in here. Now, as you can see, as we go down in time frames, we have to begin to respect these wicks where price have reacted. So we create another area of value there for us. Okay. So we'll see that clearer as we jump into the one hour chart. So for now, for now, until this is violated, this section right here, until we close below this trend line, okay, anywhere in this area below, right, we are bullish on oil. We are bullish on crude oil until we can val invalidate this trend line. Okay. Invalidate this trend line. Okay. So what I want to know from you as we move on with the analysis, uh, do you think we are going to go lower or higher on crude oil this week? Drop that down below in the comments. I want to get your perspective because I think that's the beautiful thing of trading in a community, right? If you can validate why and you can show on your charts, even though we're going to look at price action, I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you think is going to happen this week with crude oil. Not what you want to happen. What do you truly think is going to happen based on the price action that you are seeing 
on your charts, whether you're trading on the Forex side or the futures side, because I trade in both platforms, futures and Forex, so they mirror each other there. Okay, let's get back into the full chart here now, okay? So as we take a look at the eight, four hour chart, I'm sorry, let's jump over to the one hour chart. Now we begin to really see how we wanna trade this intraday trading, okay? This really begins to give us a clue, okay, on how we wanna trade this. So let me get rid of this right here, okay? And now you can see here. Now, the interesting thing about this was the news of the attacks Israel on Iran. We took that beautiful uh, buy there. And so this is the beautiful thing about using the Fibonacci, okay? Now, if we take a look at this price to where price uh, returned later on that evening, okay, we came basically all the way down to almost the negative 127, okay? Now, if we look at this here now, look where this came close to. We had the floor of the trend line and we had the floor of the trend line. So you can see here, we already had two bounces off that trend line right in here, okay? So usually what happens is, and again, this was a news event. So nothing is normal on a news event. We had a quick push up, we had a retracement. Usually after a retracement, we see a continuation. Well, we did not get that. The reason that we did not get that is because in this area, and those, of, those folks in my community uh, saw me create a post. When the market opened at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there was a 20-point gap down in this area. Well, price, after the news settled about the attacks, and I guess they realized it wasn't as bad, or whatever their excuses were, when they dropped price, they came back. Okay, they came back and closed the gap before U.S. session even opened. Okay, so this is why, this is why, in my opinion, it's so important to stay connected in a group because you may not see something, but I saw it. I told our group about it and price came all the way back down to close the gap. So when our members began to see this reversal and they use the strategies that we talk about uh, inside of our group, one of them being a very simple SAR strategy, okay? And began to see that the SAR had flipped. There you go. The SAR had flipped. Then they began to take sales down and we closed the gap. And we give you all of this inside of our trading hub as well. So we are here on this one hour chart right now. Okay, so we are sitting at this level, okay, at this level of support. Okay, this is a level of support. Now, at the one hour level, we can't ignore these two wicks right here because price has reacted here twice and has rejected. Okay, and then we have our trend line. So we're in a nice little area right in here right now that price is going to have to break out of. It's either gonna break out to the top side or to the bottom side. So guess what? We shall be ready either way. So what I wanna do here is now I wanna draw a Fibonacci level. Now this level is not gonna be as important. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because if the Sunday gap opens up or down, that this level doesn't really matter. But just so you can kind of get an idea, this would be the current Fib level based, and let's make that one white, based on where it's at, okay? So what does this tell us? We would look for our next buying opportunity down in this area right here, okay? Down in this area right in here. And I'm gonna be giving you the gap here in just a second, okay? So that would be our next buying because the trend line has not been invalidated. And this becomes very, very simple because if we were gonna take a position down in this area, our long would look something like this, right? Let's just put it right in the middle. We're gonna to try to take it all the way back up to the zero line, which is always a target. But our stop loss, okay, is going to be right below the trend line. Because if we close below the trend line, we should be going lower. So that's the way we would target that position under normal circumstances. But understand that the gap doesn't really respect that. We don't know where it's gonna gap, if it even gaps. But I want you to be ready in case there is no gap or just a couple of point gap, that would be the next buying position based on the highest probability, based on trend line, based on Fibonacci, based on zones, that would be the best place. And that is not gambling, my friends. That is called trading, 
Okay. And we'll talk about this inside of our group each and every day because that psychology is so important. So I spend a lot of time with our members talking about trading psychology. So this is kind of where we are at. Now, if we break this down and let's take a look at the gap, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the gap as we near the end of this video. So let's put a text box and this is going to be our gap. And I say it every week. I say it every week, but I'm going to remind you every week as well. This is the gap and the gap is nothing more than where price closed on Friday and where it opens on Sunday. If there is a difference in price, that space is called the gap. Now, we trade the gap in a live analysis every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time inside of our app. I go live in our community and we look for gaps, not just on crude oil, but on the indices and on Forex pairs as well. For crude oil, it has to be 50 points or more for us to entertain trading the gap. We have an entire gap strategy and we go over that every Sunday at 6 p.m. inside of our app. So again, you can join that app. You can join our community from this video today for $7 for seven days of massive value. And then you decide if it's a good fit for you, whether you're on futures, whether you're on Forex, we cover it all in that group. Okay. I hope to see you there. Let's get back into uh, the analysis. So that's going to be our gap. So there's only two scenarios that can possibly happen from this gap. One is price opens higher. Okay. And I'm going to make this green. If price opens higher, guess what that means? That means that the gap that was created is from where price opened to where price closed on Friday. Now, if we gap to the downside, and we'll make that red, all that means is that the gap was created to the bottom side. So the gap is between where price opened to where price uh, closed on Friday. Okay. And please forgive me. I did not go to art school and I am not a great artist. So uh, don't make fun of my drawings. So that is kind of what we're looking at. Okay. And that is the way we are going to start our week when it comes to crude oil. Okay. So if you have any questions, you can definitely drop them below in the video comment. Hey, if you got some value from today's Sunday crude oil analysis video, drop a like button for me. That just helps me and helps, you know, possibly more people see this video on YouTube. Hey, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, subscribe. You're going to get massive value, massive content. Uh, uh, if you, if you want to stay on the cheap side, you can join our YouTube membership for a few bucks and that'll get you a little bit of content. But if you really want to dive deeper, you want to take your trading to the next level, not just because of me, but because of 180 other traders in our group sharing, talking, whether you're trading London, US, we got folks there all the time having conversations, sharing charts. We have an amazing trader who does Elliott Wave. He shares his charts multiple times a day, probably way too much, sometimes nine, 10 charts a day, which is amazing for us to see where the big parameters are on the Elliott Wave. We have scalpers. We've got swing traders. I think we have something for you. You're getting a massive value. I give you a learning article every week. We do lives twice a day in there as well. So it's just a big family. We've had folks here for now three or four months. I think you can come in for seven bucks, try it out. And what's the worst case? You don't like it, you cancel your membership. But we have a 92% retention rate because of the value you're going to get. My goal is just to subside the platform. That's where the costs go to. My goal is to be able to give you value, to be able to give back. Eight years of what I did, my first three years, stuck, failed, took notes, went back to my journals, realized what I did wrong. And my trading started to change when I got into a community. And so I said, whenever I get to the point where I'm very profitable and I have the time, I'm going to give back just like people gave back to me. So I want to kind of pay it forward. Okay. Hope you got some value on this video. We are enjoying this beautiful, uh, beautiful weather. If you reached this far in the video, again, here's a little lake shot over here. Uh, going to go into that pool down there uh, in just a second after I get done with this upload on this video. It's a beautiful day here in Miami. You can also go down below. Let me know where you are watching from. That would be awesome. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great trading week. And again, I hope to see you uh, inside of our Traders Club. If you want to take the shortcut, all you need to do is go to theprofessortrades.com. and will send you right over to our landing page. Okay. Hope to see you there today. Have a beautiful day.
spend time with your family, give back, be kind to others. Uh, remember that this is just a temporary journey that we are in. Uh, you know, money's important, but money isn't everything, right? How you build relationships, how you give back, how you pay it forward, how you volunteer, how you work on your self-improvement, that is more important uh, than anything else because we can't take anything physical with us to whatever spiritual world that you believe in, but we can take our integrity and we can take our good souls with us. So give back, volunteer, donate. Those things are super, super important in the life journey that we're on. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.